There you have some coconut palms. Coconuts underneath. This is something I'm told they used to have in Waikiki and all the islands and even in the tourist areas. But what they has happened over time, as people want to sue about everything, they've taken those out and replaced them with other kinds of trees that look similar. They don't want to risk having somebody get hit by a coconut and uh, suing. So that's the thing. It changes everything when people start suing over dumb things. You could put a million signs and some dummy will still sue and something falls out of the tree and hits them because they were dazing off, not paying attention. Looks like they have some kind of mint down here in this raised bed they built. I'll have to ask them what else. It looks like ginger of some sort. I don't know if that's avapui. But there's one type of ginger is called shampoo ginger, avapui. There's like a bulb, and you squeeze it, and it's this, it's this kind of uh, gel substance comes out, and it's supposed to be good for your hair. So they call shampoo ginger. These ones, the tops, I think they might be avapui, because avapui is red like that on top, if I remember right. Anyway, they've got a raised bed and they've got a few nice little things growing in here. Just out in the back, in between the grass and everything. The grass is prolific in Hawaii because, especially on the wet side of these islands, because there's a lot of rain. This is the Hilo side of the big island. You get a lot, a lot of rain. Over here you got some kind of a citrus going. The thing about citrus is orange doesn't tend to turn the orange color in Hawaii. Something about the daylight hours or I don't know if it has enough chill hours or something. There's something going on there. They will ripen but they won't look orange. So that's the thing. Thing Things are different in different climates. So this is the healing plant Mirinda citrifolia. The fruit is known as noni. You let it ferment and then you juice it and it's apparently full of citric acid which is supposed to help your liver clear. Now, I'm not a herbalist, I'm not any kind of a nutritionist, but I believe there's something to that. Okay, and uh, that's the thing, so that's what this is. Sometimes they call it Indian mulberry. But uh, you go to Hawaii, you ask for noni juice, it'll be from this plant. Now don't expect something that is a flavorful, palatable juice. It's something that's meant kind of like an herb to help your body to throw off toxins. So it is not flavorful. It is not the most palatable drink. But I do believe it helps you detox some bad things in your out of your body. So now this kind of tree thing I see a lot here. It looks like bamboo, the way it's segmented. But then again, it's got leaves kind of like a palm. So I'm not sure what to think. Not exactly a botanist, but it's really neat looking. I'm mean, gonna ask the person that lives here if it's a palm or what it is. And you'll notice that it's growing out of the bottom so somewhat of like a corm it looks a lot like bamboo to me I won't promise you it's bamboo but it looks like it to me just the way it, it operates it's growing right from the base here anyway it's a beautiful tree or grass whatever you want to call it so here's one of the wonders of living in a tropical setting. You have your little garden here. All this is pineapple plants. I don't know how many they harvest in here, but you can see right here. A couple of nice little pineapples are on there. They smell very good. I'm sure they're real tasty. By the way, there are a lot of varieties of pineapple, more than we get in the store. 
And if you have the opportunity to live in this kind of a climate, you might as well take full advantage of it and grow all the good tropical stuff you can, fresh. So anyway, that's just something that happens here in these tropical climates. This is just part of a yard. This isn't a full farm and all that.